The Jewish Federation of San Diego taking steps to keep their members safe tonight as the country sees a rise in anti-Semitic hate crimes. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday night. I'm Kathleen Bade. Tonight, a new community security director met the North County congregation. He will now be protecting. Our Liberty Zabala joins us live from Del Mar with how congregates are working to stay safe. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, outside of the Beth Am Synagogue behind me, you will see an armed guard post as well as a very high security gate. Maybe not the first things you may think of when you think of a place of worship, but for many congregants, this is a sign of the times. To reach out and create those connections with the local police or sheriff. Armed security checks names at the gate before allowing congregants into the Jewish Security Town Hall, launched by the Jewish Federation of San Diego in response to the rise of anti-Semitic hate crimes. If you're going to send your kids to a Jewish preschool, many parents will first check if there's armed security there. If you're walking into services, you're looking at where the exits are at a synagogue. That's something that the Jewish community has been more attuned to because of the threats and the violence that we've faced. The Jewish Federation even introduced its newest hire, its own community security director, Bill Ganley. This is the first security program of its kind designed to teach congregants the tools and knowledge needed to stay safe at Jewish businesses, schools, and places of worship. We are making uh, a security apparatus for the Jewish community. We want people to be aware. We want them to commit to action. If they see something, to say something. If something's happening, to be proactive, to react, to call police, to run, to hide, to fight. The Anti-Defamation League counted 518 anti-Semitic incidents in California alone in 2022 a 41% rise from the year before. I'm very excited about it. I think if these kinds of measures were in line, that a lot of the killings that have happened, at least here in Poway, and also in Philadelphia would not have gone through. And congregants also left with these Stop the Bleed kits, which include things like tourniquets, gauze, and quick clock inside to help them hopefully save lives in the future. For now, live here in Del Mar, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News. Liberty